In this video, we're going to look at how we can add Suite Alerts into our Laravel LiveWire projects. So if you're not familiar with what Suite Alerts are, they are an alert that pops up in a modal style window. If you head over to suitealert2.github.io, you can see the documentation and you can also see an example. So if we just click the show success message here, you can see we get this nice little pop-up modal and a nice animation on the tick. And this is highly configurable and we can change the icon if we wanted to show an error or a warning for example and we can also change the text within the modal so the first thing we need to do is install this in our project just for this quick video here i'm just going to be bringing it in via a cdn if this was a live project you'd probably want to install it via npm but i'll leave that up to you anyway so I'm just going to copy this script tag and paste it into my project. Now you can put this anywhere in your project. You probably might want to put it into a global file if it's something you're going to be using on a lot of your pages, which I'd imagine in a real project you probably will. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to drop it into my dashboard.blade.php file. And that means I'll have access to it everywhere inside of the dashboard once a user's logged in. So just towards the bottom here of this component, I'm just going to paste that in there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is have some way to trigger this in a live wire component. So if you watched my previous video, I already have a live wire component set up called list users. And this is a pretty simple component. It just renders out of view list users and paginates them. But don't worry if you haven't got this. It's not necessary for following on with this video. You can add this into any of your live wire components that you want, or even create a dedicated component just for this. I'm going to mimic a delete button and delete method. So inside of my LiveWire component, I'm going to create a new public function. I'm going to call this destroy. Now inside of here is where we'd go ahead and delete something. So I'm just going to click a comment here, just saying delete code goes here. Then after the delete is done, this is where we'd want to send a message back to the user, let them know whether it is successful or whether it failed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dispatch browser event that's built into LiveWire. So to do this, we call this, and then we simply say dispatch browser event. And then we need to give a name for our event that we're dispatching. And then we're going to add a listener on our front end to listen for this. So I'm just going to call this SWAL for suite alert. And then as a second parameter, we can pass down any kind of data as an array. And then we can pick this data up in our event listener on the front end. Here as a second parameter, I'm going to create array. Now this array is going to be built up of key value pairs and you can put any options that are available to Suite Alert. So if we just jump back over to the Suite Alert documentation and we scroll down a bit here to usage and you can see just here there's a very basic example. So these are some of the options we can pass in. So we can pass a title to it which is just a text string for the title of the alert. So let's just add that in just for now. So I'm going to say title. This title is going to say Hello from LiveWire. That's pretty simple. So now on our front end, we need to set up a listener for this. And we also need to set something up so we can trigger this destroy method on our LiveWire component. So over in the list users, I'm just going to create another column on this table. I'm just going to give this a heading of delete. And inside of the table, just create a new column here. And let's create a delete button. So I'm just going to paste some code in here. And this is just a basic button, but it's got some Tailwind classes on it. So this is just rounding the button off, giving it a shadow, giving it a border and a color of red. So let's just check that out in the browser. And you can see now we now have delete buttons next to each row. Now let's fire these up to call the destroy method in our component. So inside of the button, we just want to say wire click. So we're saying live wire. When this is clicked, I want you to call the destroy method on my component, which is going to call this destroy method here on the list users component. And when this is called, this is going to dispatch a browser event. So we need to listen out for this now. So back over in our dashboard.blade.php file where we brought in the script tag by the CDN, I'm going to create another script tag here. And inside of here, we're going to add an event listener for that emitted event. So we can say window add event listener. And then what do we want to listen for? Well, we want to listen for that sweet our event, which I called SWAL. Now we're going to pass that into a closure along with the event. 
And then finally, we can actually call the Sweet Alert Library, and there's a method on there called Fire, which actually triggers the modal. So we can say Sweet Alert, and we want to fire, and then that'll fire a basic Sweet Alert. But we also want it to use our options that we're passing down from PHP. So because we're passing in the event here, we can say E dot detail, and then that'll pass in the array of details that we're passing down from the controller. And let's just close these off with some semicolons. So now what's going to happen over our list users, we have this button and it's going to say live wire listen for a click. When we do click, go to the destroy method on our component, and then it's going to go into the destroy method. This is where you'd handle the actual delete. And then once that's finished, we're going to dispatch a browser event called SWAL. And then we're going to pass in some parameters here. And then on the front end, we have an event listener listening for the SWAL event. And then it's going to trigger a new instance of the sweet alert library using the fire method. And as you've probably seen here, made a bit of a typo. It's not full stop, it should be a comma. Okay, now let's try this out in the browser. Let's give this page a refresh. Now let's click one of our delete buttons. And as you can see there, we now have the sweet alert modal pop up with our message, hello from Livewire. Now let's experiment a bit and pass in some more options from sweet alert too. So back over in our Livewire component, I'm just gonna break this array down onto some new lines so it's easy to read. Um, and let's do a success modal first. So we can say a title of user deleted, and we're gonna give this an icon, and we're gonna give this an icon of success. And if you're wondering where this is, if you take a look at the Sweet Alert documentation, so I'll just jump back over here. These are one of the options you can pass in. So you see the icons down here. These are the different icons that you can pass in. So I'm just going to leave that like that for now. Now let's try this out in the browser. We don't need to refresh because this is all going to be handled by the back end. So let's just click delete. And you can see now we get the nice tick icon saying user deleted. Now this makes it super flexible because anywhere in our application within the dashboard that .php file anyway, we can now call the sweet alert library and completely style it from our back end. So let me just duplicate this down now i'm just going to comment this first one out for now so we could say that we failed here instead of success we could say error now let's give in a text option and we'll say you are not allowed to delete this user Got a capital letter there now let's also pass in a timer so this just closes the window after a certain amount of time so i'll give a timer of 3000 so three seconds now let's try this out so press the button again this time we get the arrow icon and we get our title and our message and as you've seen there it closed within three seconds so coding it in this style gives you ultimate flexibility in your wi-fi component to have full control over the sweet alert pop-up in the back end so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I have a lot more Laravel related content, I also have a few more Laravel Livewire cookbook videos up and coming. So make sure you press the bell to ensure you get notifications as and when they come out.